Is KCP approaching his peak, at his peak, or past his peak? He just put together one of his better seasons, potentially his best, depending on your perspective on how you answer that question. But I think that KCP is in the middle of his peak, and it's one of the reasons why it, you're so excited about this team potentially running it back. Oh, the Pope is here. Pope what, is here. Wait, really? Pope, well, I mean, in a, in a oh, sense, in, in so many words. Right. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the KCP preview, player preview here. I got my guy D-Line. I got my guy Vote over here. Good little mix to talk about one of the most steady players on the Nuggets roster, Contavious Caldwell Pope. Let's get right into the big question. Is KCP approaching his peak, at his peak, or past his peak? Mm. Vote, why don't I start with you on this one? I love this question because KCP could be viewed as a little older, especially by default in this starting lineup. Yeah. But he's not that old in the no. modern NBA. And he just put together one of his better seasons, potentially his best, depending on your perspective on, on how you answer that question. But I think that KCP is in the middle of his peak. And it's one of the reasons why it, you're so excited about this team potentially running it back. Uh, because they're running the whole starting lineup back, and KCP, I think, is still in the middle of his best basketball and, and his best contributions to winning basketball. Yeah, I mean, I think he's at his peak. This is, I think this is as good as we can ever expect KCP to play, which is very good. Yeah. He was very good last year. He came in uh, as just sort of a odds-on favorite to be a, a – absolute seamless fit into the Nuggets starting five, and they won a championship. I remember that. Yeah, so it was a good fit. KCP, I believe, is exactly <laughs> where he needs to be, and I'm loving it. It's hard I to mean, argue. I might say he's a perfect fit, honestly. I, I, might eh. take, I might take your take up a whole other level and say perfect fit given the role. I mean, the guy shoots lights out. He guards extremely well, especially a specific type of defender. Denver needs that type of guy on their roster. Um, and I agree with you guys. I think he is at his peak, but here's the thing about a player's peak. You kind of peak athletically around 26, 27, and maybe it all comes together to you around 28-ish or so, but I think your consistency peak, that's where he's approaching for me, and he was remarkably consistent last year, but I wonder if he'll be even more consistent this year because I think that's the thing where maybe the peaks aren't quite there, maybe he needs a little bit more rest than he did in the last season or this or that, but I just wonder if he's a guy that kind of shoots 40% every night as opposed to right. hot, cold, this or that. That's more or less where I see him at. Settling into his best basketball, perhaps. So 10.8 points per game last year. I think that comes in roughly seventh in his career for points per game. But it was the most efficient he's been from the three-point line, a career high in steals per game, nearly a career high in assists per game. So really all signs point to KCP playing his best all-around basketball right now. And I think his understanding of what makes him great is so firm that you expect this to be an extension, if not an improvement, from what made him great already. D-line... The other thing is chemistry. He just got here. I know. How long did it take for him to fit in? We're st it's still probably going to happen. Right? I, well, this is my point. I was going to say <laughs> it has like immediately. He seamless fit yeah. right in. But he does have even more experience under his belt. I just wonder if like we're discounting the fact that, hey, this is his second year. He's going to be even more comfortable from the jump. Maybe there's another level of chemistry there. It's entirely possible. I was thinking about that like that the beginning of the year will be more comfortable for him that this year than it was last year. Right. And he already what, he shot 46% from three last year. I mean, that's unbelievable. Is that right? I don't think For, that's right. 42% from three, 46% from the field. Yeah, 40, that's all right. Yeah. I was going to say 46%. That's so a, we're just out here spreading lies yeah, across spreading the internet. Well, <laughs> <laughs> At least we corrected him. Um, yeah. All the same, I completely agree with that, that sentiment. I think that there is something to the idea. You come into a place, you want to establish yourself. People know who you are. Are, but they don't know how they, to exactly play with you. That develops as the season went on. Obviously, uh, as, as the season went on, it got very good uh, yeah. in culminating in, as I remember, a 16 and four uh, playoff run, That's which correct. resulted yep. in a championship. That's also right. correct. So I like the idea that we're starting from that place. Right. Um, so uh, yeah, game on. Let's go. Well, don't get too close, boys. I have a shocking stat what? for Whoa. you. Whoa. <laughs> Keep your hands off. A lot of cables off. around. A lot of cables around. KCP. Led the Denver Nuggets in total minutes last season. Oh, whoa. We were talking about him, you know, and he's not old, but he's not young. Led the team in minutes played. That's actually unbelievable. That's, is, that's beyond shocking. And I didn't know that one, D-line, off the top of my head. I'm shocked. So, <laughs> I told you guys we're going to be shocked. <laughs> I'm <man>. shocked. <laughs> um, you know, this year, I do feel like they probably, again, he's not old, 
But I do think you need to start building in rest for the soon to be 30 sure. year old. What do you think, D line? Definitely. And you're talking about, uh, you know, if we're looking at if he needs to rest, who can spell him? And yeah. then Christian Brown is coming into his second year of, of being a professional. It seems like that's a guy that you can actually look to, uh, not just rely upon in times of injury, but you can actually give KCP rest because we have a guy that can come in and do a lot of things that he does, especially defensively. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Is this a number, though? Are you at all concerned about, hey, they wrote him quite a bit last year? Yes and no. It's kind of what KCP does. I do yeah. think – I mean, he's he's still 30, so I don't know if you really necessarily have to be rolling minutes back. You're 30, uh, and I heard you make a noise when you stood up <laughs> oh, from dude. a chair. <laughs> My knee cracks so loud. So, so when you I put it in those contexts, <laughs> past is prime for sure. Now past is prime this. for sure. He may have a different morning – The decline morning. is real. He might have a different morning routine than me. But I, I – so I, I actually – but the thing about KCP to me is that almost – almost shielded by how intense Bruce is, is that KCP is an underrated anytime, any place guy. He plays every game with the same intensity, and I don't know if he knows how to turn it down. So I think it'll be more of the same, but no, it doesn't concern me. Do you guys know nobody calls him KCP anymore? Only us. We got to get with the time. Kenny he's, Pope? Po- he's either Kenny Pope or Pope. I feel like we're going to make people come to us. We're trendsetters. We're not followers. Uh, Kenny Pope's too good to ignore. <laughs> Kenny Pope is so good. Pope <laughs> All right, fine. Kenny Pope is, is great. Uh, Pope is good. I do think, though, to your point, one thing about Denver this year is I do think that they have just a lot of wings and and guys they can throw, you know, on different defenders. I do think Christian Brown is ready to step up into a minutes, you know, play some more minutes. So I do wonder if Denver is thinking about that with KCP. He'll, Again, just, he'll just play instead of Mike Adam. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just I'm saying. Just you listen to, to Michael Malone and Calvin Booth and even the team talk. They're not even just talking about this year. They're like, right. guys, it's I our agree. time. Let's think about this as a long-form thing. And while KCP might be in his prime right now, hey, you might want him for next year too. You know, like let's let's make sure in the regular season you get it, you spell him a little bit of minutes. I don't think he leads the Nuggets in minutes this year. Um, and that's not even my bold prediction. We'll get to bold predictions I can't, now. I cannot wait. Oh, I got so <laughs> bold for you guys. I got so bold for you guys. But I, we'll save it for last. Okay. Vote. Give us a bold prediction for Kenny Pope. All right, I just told you guys that I was surprised to learn that in a Denver Nuggets uniform, he set a career high in steals per game. And love that. I think he's going to do it again. He's going to he, he's going to improve bar. again. I too this is why I loved the big question to open this segment. I think KCP is in the middle of his peak. And I, I just like everyone else, we can ask the question, why can't he get even more comfortable and yeah. even better in this offense? So or, or, but that would be defensively, I should say. Sure. Career high in steals per game. Can Contavious steals well poke. Contavious swipe well poke. Swipe well. There you go. D line beat that one. Well, I mean, now that I look at the according to our stat, he shot forty six percent from three. I mean, I just I, mean, I just think that he's gonna shoot over forty percent from three again, which should be shocking because that is the yeah. high watermark, generally speaking, for an NBA yeah. player. Um, I think that there's no slowing him down. Like I think that He's going to be better than last year. Not, I mean, he actually might hit forty six point two percent this year. It's entirely <laughs> what if he does if he hits that perfectly. Oh my gosh! What if this is foreshadowing, not re- representing what happened already? No, I just I think he's going to be a high clip, high percentage, efficient three point shooter um, that is able to calmly and smoothly knock down shots like a, a quiet killer um, with his role in this team just cemented i think that there's a lot to that of just not having to worry about like what should i be doing right now what does the team need for me understanding his role exactly and perfectly is just going to open up abilities or just opportunity for him to do so much more contavious shoot well pose let's go uh that works pretty well (laughs) it works pretty well (laughs) um i like that one in large part because one thing i keep thinking about how could this year play out the starting five does have better chemistry Murray and Porter are healthier. Hey-o. And I just wonder if there's going to be more wide open shots to go yeah. around. You know, like that's, and then your corner guys, Mike and, and KCP, are just getting like easier shots than ever. And they're like, I don't, I'm only <laughs> shooting 50%, but none of them are contested. So it's, <laughs> it's kind of easy. Um, my bold prediction I think KCP is going to have a quarter in which he scores five three pointers. Jeebus. He goes for five. Okay. Now I did a little bit of a research. A contavious quarter? I did my own research on this one. Contavious quarter well poked. <laughs> there you go. There it is. Um, I did my own research. He has three such games where he's made five threes in one quarter. Okay. All of them with the Lakers. Oh, uh, one when he was with the Denver Nuggets. 
There have been 40 players last year, 40 players who had a 5-3 quarter. Really, really surprised me. I was really surprised by that. So it's not the craziest thing. But here's the thing. I don't know if his numbers go up or down meaningfully. I think he's locked into a role and it's, you know, more or less going to be where, where he's at. But I do wonder if the offense is just going to have more Porter quarters, more Murray flurries, and more Contavious Quarterwell pokes. <laughs> everything, yes. we, everything we do is so stupid. I just can't the dumbest just, thing ever. <laughs> I like that we just report those as that's what they are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just sharing the facts here. <laughs> Uh, I could see him having these quarters. And here's the thing. We talk about when Mike has a Porter quarter. Like, a Murray Flurry, you're almost certainly winning. Yeah. A Porter quarter, shut it down. They're not losing. That, a, cor- like, a quarter well Pope. A quarter well Pope, I think, is the same as a Porter quarter. Where I it's, agree. They're like, you know what? We did good this quarter. We really <laughs> shut down Murray and Yoke. But KCP had 15 points from the left quarter, and we're screwed. We're down 20 now. You could run a great defensive possession, and like the optimal outcome is KCP's open. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. They're like, oh, there's so many KC points against us. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate, dude, we suck. <laughs> we get suck. out of here. Get All right, up. we got we to get out of here. That's KCP. We're looking forward to it. Guys, we're also looking forward to you hitting the like button for us. Maybe make a comment. Let us know what your bold prediction is for KCP, uh, and we'll read them. See you on the other side. We all silly like the mayor. 